Some of you, if not many of you, probably saw last year where I built my own mosquito trap in order to trap the mosquitoes on my property and ultimately kill them. And it required using electricity amongst a bunch of other products as well. It worked really, really well and still works really, really well to this day. However, what I'm gonna show you today is gonna almost make that secondary. It's still gonna do its job, but this is going to wipe out the masses of the mosquitoes around the property. So let's jump right into the life cycle of mosquito to better understand how mosquitoes work, much like I did with a video I did very recently about house flies, keeping the house fly population down in your garbage, therefore around your house, we gotta interrupt that life cycle. So let's go ahead, jump right in, let's go. So I'm gonna try and condense the life cycle of mosquito as much as possible. So you've got the female mosquitoes that are actually the culprits for biting you. They are requiring a blood meal in order to produce and lay their eggs. Once they've got that blood meal, they then go to a place of standing water. You've all seen it, whether you've got five gallon buckets or you've got just anything, an old tire laying out that just collects water. If it sits there long enough, mosquitoes find it, they lay their eggs in that water and within about a week or so, those eggs are hatching and they become larva. And then that's when you look into the water and you see all those little worm type insects that are swimming around the water. And then they molt numerous times before they become what is known as a pupa. Now something that's really interesting in the larva stage is they actually have to come up and breathe air at the surface numerous times before going back down into the water. But once they become pupa, it's not long before they will emerge as just more mosquitoes. Now, one thing that you might not know is that mosquitoes don't really live incredibly long lives. It's typically a week or two before they've lived their life, they've died, and that's why they have to produce at such a quick rate. So now for the most part, you understand the life cycle of a mosquito. So now let's get into the fun part and how we're gonna end that life cycle and get rid of all the mosquitoes. So for the most part, these are the two products that I have found to work the best. I've tried some other ones out. They don't seem to work quite as well and they also are a little bit messier. So you've got these mosquito bits and then you've also got the mosquito dunks. And while they are made by the same company, they for the most part use the exact same ingredients, they function differently. So according to the folks that make these two products, the mosquito bits, are going to kill the larva faster than the mosquito dunk. So maybe if it's a little bit later in the season, you've already found some buckets or some things that already have some larva in it, then you might want to go with the mosquito bits first or right off the bat to just kill them off. These, this is gonna start working within 24 hours, but the thing about the mosquito bits is if you wanna just keep using this, you're gonna to have to add whatever the recommended amount is in the instructions on the back about every seven days. So it doesn't last a very long time, but it is very effective and it is very quick killing. Now, while we're talking about the mosquito bits, and this is also gonna to pertain to the mosquito dunks, which I'll explain the differences a little bit later, but this packaging does a really good job of visualizing some things that I wanna talk about. So it does say that it can be used around people, pets, plants, and fish but it is not recommended to be in water that a person is going to be in. However, they do say that it is safe for animals in order for, as you can see, some people put them in their bird baths, uh, the tires, like we talked about earlier, standing water, and even like your flower pots. And then if we turn it over to the back, we've got a picture here showing a canister that's being filled up with water from the gutter system. So these are all areas that they do recommend that you can use them in pretty much anywhere where you're gonna have standing water or where mosquitoes can have their eggs laid and basically hatch. All right, so now moving over to the mosquito dunks. The thing about the mosquito dunks is these last a lot longer, so you don't have to replace them as often as you would the mosquito bits. The mosquito dunks are gonna last about 30 days or they can last longer. And like the mosquito bits, like I said, they can be used in fish habitats, flower pots, tree holes, bird baths, roof gutters, rain barrels, old tires, unused swimming pools, that's an important distinction, unused, and also animal watering troughs. So if you've got cows and you've got troughs, they say that these are safe to be able to put in there while also killing the mosquitoes that might be trying to put their eggs in the cow's water. So why do these work on mosquitoes and they don't harm pretty much everything else? Well, let's look at the ingredients real quick. 
And if you look at the ingredients, you're going to have some words that, for the most part, I'm probably not going to be able to read correctly, so bear with me. But we've got Bacillus thuringianus. So what they've done is they've basically taken a bacteria group that they found to be effective against mosquitoes and insects like mosquitoes, and they've turned it into a way of controlling them. And more specifically, how the BTIs work, which is short for the big words that I read a little bit earlier, is the BTI spores that are eaten by the mosquito larva release toxins into the mosquito's gut, which then cause the larva to stop eating and then they die. But the BTI is only going to be effective in the larva stage because that's the stage where they also feed. Once they reach the pupa stage, they don't feed, and then the adults also don't feed on what's in the water either. So that's another reason why I like to have the mosquito trap that I built to trap the adults as well, and also why it can take up to two weeks to really start seeing a big difference in the mosquito population around the house. And if you're interested in picking these up, you can find these in many places. You may have already seen these before, but I'll also have links down in the description down below where you can pick them up quickly. But only if you don't like mosquitoes and you want to get rid of them. Now I'm going to show you what I use and what I build in order to then deploy these in order to kill off all those mosquitoes. So if you're like me and want to get rid of all the mosquitoes on your property and you're finding this to be informative and helpful, if you could do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button right down below. It really helps the video out to spread out to more people and hopefully be able to help them out as well. You can think of it as spreading it out to more people and saving lives from people getting Zika or maybe even dengue or whatever the other awful diseases are that the news scares us with on a regular basis that you could get from these flying insects. I really appreciate it. Let's get back into it. So the first thing that I do is I get a five gallon bucket and I fill it up with a few gallons of water. Now I'm taking this straight out of the hose, which for me is well water, which is gonna work perfectly fine, just the same as pretty much any other water. But if you're on city water, for instance, which is treated, it might just take a little bit longer, but it won't take too terribly long before the mosquitoes will find their way to it and start laying their eggs. If you've got a pond or a watering trough, that might actually also speed up the process a little bit. So now that I've got my water, now I'm going to take one of my dunks and take it out of the packaging and I'm going to break it up into about four pieces and put one piece in each of the five gallon buckets that I'm gonna be using, and that'll last me about a month. Now, if you look at the back at the directions, it's gonna tell you exactly how much you're gonna need, whether it's the mosquito bits or the mosquito dunks. But as far as the dunks go, it's gonna give you a surface area of standing water, whatever it is that you're trying to put one of these in, and it's gonna say one to five square feet, which is a quarter of a dunk, five to 25 square feet, which is a half of a dunk, and then so on and so forth from there as far as the surface area of the water. Then once I've got the dunk in, what I like to do is I like to protect my bucket by taking a piece of hardware cloth and cutting it down to the size of the top of my bucket. This is just to make sure that no other animals try to get into this bucket, not that it would have adverse effects on them, it wouldn't. It's more so just to make sure that the water is not disturbed so that those mosquitoes can continue to come in and try and breed in the water. Then I'll take my five gallon bucket or buckets, depending on how many I have, and I'll take them out to the areas where I'm going to end up putting them. So you can either use trees or posts or whatever you need in order to hold these up off of the ground. So I'll take a drill bit and pre-drill a hole, and then I'll use one of the hooks that you can buy pretty much anywhere that oftentimes are used to hang things such as bikes and garages. And then I'll screw that into the hole that I just drilled. Once that's screwed down tight into place, then I can take my bucket and I can just hang it up onto that hook. Then I like to go around and put a few holes in the bucket at a level where I don't want the water to go past. So all of the rain that we get here, I don't want my bucket then filling all the way up, getting super heavy, and then also overflowing. So I like to have a few holes in there just to make sure that the water never rises above a certain level. And then I've got one of my traps completely done up and out of the way to kill off all of those mosquitoes and I won't need to revisit it for about 30 days. So soon I'm really not going to need this anymore. Now if you're also interested in other ways of controlling the mosquito population or even other bugs around your house, 
I'll post a video right over here showing the trap that I built last year. And then I will also have some other videos down here to help with pest control. So I hope that you found this video to be helpful and interesting. And if you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions or comments at all, you can leave those down in the comment section down below. And I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.